Bowman here from BW1 and this is a Nokia Lumia 2520. I am really excited for this device because this is Nokia's first Windows tablet. It's running Windows RT 8.1 and it has 4G LTE courtesy of Verizon. So we know Nokia makes some pretty good phones, but let's see how well they do with tablets in my unboxing of the Nokia Lumia 2520. All right, guys, it's time to unbox the Nokia Lumia 2520. It's a pretty cool Windows 8 tablet. I'm really excited about that. One of the things I've been wanting to see Nokia do is create a tablet. They create great phones. Please see how they do in the tablet uh, market here. So as for the box, it's uh, pretty much what you would normally see from the manufacturer directly. Pretty uh, stock boxing here. All you see is Verizon sort of logo here because LG, I mean, excuse me, the LTE is provided by uh, Verizon on here and you can see 4G LTE uh, certified logo right here on the side. Typical stuff that you see from Verizon. Let's go ahead and slide this box out here. And boom, there we go. So that's the cover. Put that back over here. All right, there is the 2520 right here. Before we get to that, let's see what we have inside the box. Let's see what we have. Pull this up here. Look at the whole booklet of things. All right, okay, cool, cool. Let's see what we got. We have the uh, AC adapter. It's the AC 300 charger is what they call it. Looks like it's the Nutty uh, um, micro USB. So it looks like it is a um, proprietary charger that you need to use for it to charge it up. Do have your SIM card uh, pin here. So it allows you to put the SIM card in, which we're gonna have to do, of course. You get you have get to tablet. Looks like you have a uh, Getting around, welcome to Windows. And that is pretty much it as far as what's, what's in, coming inside of the box. So that's pretty, yep, pretty much it. And we'll actually probably need this in just a second to be able to put the SIM card in here. So go ahead and slide this stuff over here to the side. All right, let's bring over the Nokia tablet here. Let's peel off all that plastic. Let's see, let's see if it helps. It slides out actually. Let's go ahead and slide this out, I think. What it looks like. Uh, no, no, it's the peel off. Okay. Peel that off there. Peels off that plastic. All right, and here we are at the front. Let's go ahead and peel off this final piece of plastic here. If I can get my fingertip over it. There we go. Pops off just like that. All right, pretty cool. You can see we have our Nokia tablet here. See, we know we have a 10 inch, uh, 10 inch display. It is a full HD display, 1920 by 1080. Pretty nice. It does come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor inside of it. I believe it comes with two gigabytes of RAM as well too. We do have a front facing camera here, but also on the back, we do have a, a rear facing camera, which I believe it. Okay guys, I had to do a bit of a reset there, but on the back here, it is a 6.7 megapixel camera here on the rear. Let's see, we have here on the side, we have, uh, looks like this is your, uh, looks like you have, uh, looks like that's a USB, looks like this mini HDMI, looks like a USB uh, port right there, USB 3.0 maybe port right there on the side. Let's see here, we have the, um, looks like we have dual head, uh, we have the headphone jack here, and looks like we have the power here as well too. Um, here on the sides, looks like you have your volume and your uh, power and your volume buttons right here. All right, pretty um, slick tablet, I definitely have to say. It does have NFC support, which is pretty nice. It does feel pretty good in the hand, pretty lightweight, pretty nice. All right, it looks like we do have, uh, looks like you have a charging station that you could put right here if you dock it and it will charge as well too. Yeah, pretty nice to see where is the SIM card slot because that's the important thing that we need to, to need, need to find here, which is right here at the top. So we'll take the pin right here and we'll go ahead and poke that out. Slide out. All right, looks like we have the side of the SIM card and um, let's, let's see, probably the SIM card and I believe a micro SD card slot as well too. Yep, SIM card and micro SD card is both supported with this as well, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and pop the SIM card inside of here so we can get some LTE going all along with it here. Pops in just like that. Then we'll just slide it in right back into here. Boom, just like that. And it's done. All right. See it up, just lit up green there. So it might be powering up. Yep, it's powering up here. Let it go ahead and boot up here. Let's see how fast it boots up. Get the Nokia logo. Let's see how fast this boots up on here. 
gear. You can see the little dots spinning around. All right, we're probably gonna go through a first setup initially as well too. But uh, it does have the windows, uh, looks like it has the windows button right there at the bottom as well too, the touch sensitive button for that. Dual speakers, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi, 4G LTE. Probably has GPS also, also inside of it as well too. All right, let's go ahead and start to set this up. See, looks like we have to put in uh, regional and language support. So let's go ahead and hit next. That all looks pretty much right. Apply those settings. Got to accept the licensing terms. Let's go through a few basics, personalization. Let's see what color what we want to do. We'll actually give it the, that's a cool theme. How's that theme look? We'll actually give it this theme right here. Actually, no, let's give it something a little more colorful. We'll go with the, this theme here. Although when I probably sign in, it's probably gonna sync with my um, sync with my uh, Windows account when it turns when it's time for it to sign in. All right, let's go ahead and uh, connect to the Wi-Fi here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a connection. Just give me a second here. We're online here, so let's see what else we can do. Let's just go ahead and uh, we'll use Express Settings for now. Next, we want to set up the accounts. So most likely, I have to put in my Windows account. I'm gonna do that right here. Yeah, the account set up now. It's asking us. Uh, where do we want to copy our settings from? We can set this up based on my desktop or set this up as a new PC instead. We'll actually use those settings there. So we'll hit next, setting up our account. All right, let's take a look at some of the things that we're gonna get here so far with the Lumia 2520 in terms of software. Now we know we're running Windows 8.1, Windows RT 8.1. So when you, if you have an RT operating system, your applications are gonna come from the Windows store instead of uh, being able to sort of install them as you typically would traditionally do on a full uh, version of a Windows operating system. You do get the Office applications pre-installed here. So we do have Word available and that'll open up right here. As you can see it's asking the SkyDrive and to finish the setup. We'll just X out of that for now. But we're pretty much set up in here so you get full office suite. It's pretty nice for your productivity. Let's take a look here to see if we can get some specs and information. First, you can see here we do have 25.5 uh, gigabytes available as far as storage on the device with 18 gigabytes of it free. So you do lose about seven gigabytes prior to the operating system and pre-installed software. So just take note of that. Also, let's go here into computer. Let's see if we can bring up system properties. Taking a look at that, let's maximize this out here a little bit. There you go. So now this is the basic information about the computer. We can see that we're running Windows RT 8.1 and with uh, Nokia, Nokia, Nokia Lumia 2520 with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor clocked at 2.15 gigahertz. So it's a quad core processor, 2.15 gigahertz. Keep saying 2.51. It has uh, two gigabytes of RAM, 32-bit 32 32-bit 32 operating system, and gives you some support information right there. So it's nice that they kind of give you all that. So now we know what we're sort of working with here. Go ahead and hit the Windows key and it brings us back here to the home. And uh, so far it's pretty responsive. Can't complain too much here on that. Kind of see there, it synchronized my background and stuff uh, from my other desktop, so that's pretty nice. You can take a look at some of the things like uh, here in maps. All right, so that's cool. Spin the globe around here. And here maps is pretty good. It's just it's just as good as pretty much uh, Google Maps as well too. Very, very good mapping program Nokia sort of includes inside their tablets here. So we can take a look at that. Um, see what else we have, I'll head back. Home here, we do have the uh, camera application. Oh, that's the basic camera application when a Microsoft comes with. No, we want to use Nokia camera. All right, see that there. All right, it's still the front facing camera. Let's see if we can change that. Swipe it up, Let's switch that out to the rear facing. It's pretty cool. Did you get any, uh, nope, no settings or anything like that. Oh, let's try to go to camera, see if we get anything. Nope, nope, it's just pretty much basic. Snap the shot, and that's all you're gonna get. All right. Go ahead and hit home back here. See what else that we have to show. Let's go actually go here into the, uh, we can slide up here, see on the app drawer, app tray here. You got My Verizon Mobile, Dragon Adventure, looks like a pre-installed game. Nokia Storyteller, Nokia Camera, Instagram Explorer. It's pretty interesting considering now that the official Instagram application, at least in beta, is out right now. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's jump into PC settings. So we have for that. All right, you can see what you can set it as. You can add your accounts, uh, SkyDrive, Privacy Network, all those things, updates and recovery. So you can check for updates, file history, all sort of cool things like that. And you can probably do your multitasking, as you can see there. 
you can be able should be able to split applications so we can put half app there and we should be able to put a third app somewhere within here as well too I don't know well, might not be able to do that on the RT version but at least you can uh, kind of swing these around let's see if I can uh, no, it doesn't look like it has three app support. I thought RT did, looks like it doesn't. But you can do two of them there at the same time. And responsive, I mean, it's really uh, nice, responsive, uh, smooth. Very cool hardware on here. Definitely very slick looking tablet. You can see there all around. It's definitely something that's gonna be eye, eye appealing and it's comfortable to hold in the hand. It's uh, 10 inches, the 1080p looks really good on this screen so far. Visuals look good, responsiveness is good. Just gonna see how, it all, how it's all gonna sort of pan out here with uh, Nokia Windows RTOS, which I've always been kind of critical about, not being a full, full Windows. It's very geared towards more getting all your apps from the app store and more or less working within the the uh, Metro interface here. But we'll see how it goes. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please post that below this video here in the comment section. And we'll try to answer them there for you. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page to check out our review and more tech videos that come out available here at BW1.com. Try a different bit of a camera setup here as you didn't notice, trying to do a little multi-camera here. It's our first test of it, so it might be a little rough, but we're gonna get that organized out. So uh, definitely uh, let, let, let us know what you think of that as well too. And like said we'll we'll uh, be working on that working on that as well too be sure to connect with us on us all, all of our other social networks that is facebook twitter google plus all that is in the description also at our main website at bw1.com and always remember to live your tech world in high definition be sure to give this video a like and thanks for watching